It's time now for the Peter Channel Afternoon News for this Sunday afternoon, November 23rd, 2014. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins. Here are your afternoon news headlines here at 1234. Here in our top story here is... In Ferguson, Missouri, where businesses are bored out on the windows, some schools have canceled classes in their days prior to the Thanksgiving weekend. Marion Berry was elected four times as Washington's mayor, as Berry was sentenced to six months in prison in the early 90s after a drug conviction, and Berry had his flaws, but a great freedom according to Cornell West, as Berry, Berry died early this morning at the age of 78. In Gardez, Afghanistan, a suicide bomber killed 45 people at a volleyball match in Afghanistan on Sunday. A provincial official said says foreign troops withdraw from the country after more than a decade of fighting. Iran and six world powers on Sunday began a frantic round of meetings in search of a deal. A trans nuclear program hoping in the approach of a negotiation to deadline at midnight on Monday would draw last minute concessions. Turns out that the only thing that could beat the Hunger Games Market J Part 1 was Hung Past Hunger Games Market J Part 1 exploded at the top of the weekend box office charts with an impressive $123 million ice opening weekend in 2014. The rally late last week in Chinese stocks traded overseas triggered by surprise interest rate cut suggested equities will soar up when markets open in Shanghai today. <laughs> Bristol County, Massachusetts Sheriff Thomas Hawkinson, Republican, reported that President Obama's executive action on immigration will make it impossible for us to be able to notify ICE when we have people that ought to be detained and deported on Saturdays just as now on the Fox News Network. All about it. Satellite imagery indicates that China is building an island that could be a site for its first airstrip in the disputed Spratly Islands in the South China Sea, IHS Jane reports. A Ukrainian serviceman gets ready to fire into his position next to a bridge over the river Seversky Donets, damaged by an explosion during a fight between pro Russian rebels and Ukrainian government near the Trehizbenka village, Donetsk region eastern. Palestinians say a 32 year old man fled east of the Jabal refugee camp at IDF troops said. He opened fire and hindered Palestinians who approached the security fence and ignored orders to stop. No verification of Palestinian killed or wounded. Rolling Stone magazine reports that a freshman was raped by seven men at the high cap up site for Trinity Party University of Virginia. In Washington, Republicans on Sunday vowed to stop President Barack Obama and plan to shelter millions of illegal immigrants from deportation called an abusive executive at Verich. Her genocide, the head of the European Commission, is about an announce a plan whereby the European puts $26 billion or so into an investment fund. Which is then geared up with a private money to a map to a three nine billion dollar fund that will worth large to Europeans. The defining image of the global energy industry in 2014 has been a tanker loaded up with an ultra light foam of crude oil form known as condensated in Galveston, Texas, bound for South Korea. Macy's and JCPenney have been listed among the top ten retails for Black Friday deals, and it's listed completely by Walled Up as all retails try to test their shoppers for Black Friday. It has become increasingly difficult for consumers to check. At events, malicious software applications have been uncovered since 2008, used to spy on private companies, governments, research institutes, and individuals in 10 countries, and anti virus software maker. Symbatech Corp has said in a report. A uh, federal judge in New York has given a final approval to a settlement in which Apple will pay $450 million for its own conspiracy to fix prices for ebooks. Cameron Diaz's monologue wasn't quite a monologue, that's more than she's going to answer a dumb audience question and hope they think that's funny, as she said in last night's Saturday Night Live. Bill Cosby cut the picture a decade in the making. Another day, another woman from Bill Cosby's past accusing comic of ranchy behavior as Joyce Emmons, a Brooklyn born former comedy club manager, emerged Saturday with another disturbing claim involving Cosby, drugs, and depravity. Said the club manager says Cosby gave her quality in the 1970s. Today is Miley Cyrus's 22nd birthday. Just over a year ago, late night of Jimmy Fallon had comedian writer Stephen Merchant and actor Joseph Gordon Levitt on in this. Late now with Jimmy Fallon and the three stars engaged in the first slip sync battle. A recent study found that as much as 25% of the seasonal increase in CO2 due to modern crops had recent findings that suggest modern farm production could have been having a major impact on global carbon cycles could have greatly improved the tight ace climate. Asteroid mining, although science has gotten so far, making mankind has always been looking to explore new methods of improving our lives. Researchers believe the animal was isolated on in India when it was an island in the middle of the ocean and international research team has found a common ancestor for the rhino and the horse. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon and the Panel on Climate Change Chairman Rajendra Pachari gave a press conference to the present the AR5 synthesis report in Copenhagen November 2nd, 2014 as any climate deal from upcoming summit likely to be too weak to stop. 
In Cairo, an Egyptian woman who was six months pregnant has died of H1N1 swine flu five days after. Be admitted to the hospital and health ministry spokesman said on Sunday. Could scientists find a way to replace exercise with food? As scientists at the Nestle Institute of Health Sciences in Los Angeles, Switzerland think they are set close to developing an edible product which would supply the benefits that exercise provides. Okay, let us take a look at New England Insulars here at 12.39. Here. Nope. Oh, let's move on to sports here. Manning Pepper has started a showdown with five-weight world champion Floyd Merriweather after retaining his WBO World Weight title in Macau on Sunday. Lily French, Roger Federer defeated Richard Gasquet 6 4 6 2 6 2 in the first reverse singles match Sunday as Switzerland won the Davis Cup final against French by taking an unsaleable 3 to 1 lead. Tiger Woods has appointed the bad mechanics starting his new swing coach as he prepares to relaunch his corporate career. There have been raised eyebrows in his news as many, as many had expected to. Woods to go out of the wall after he's strong play part of ways. Today, the New England Patriots will be at Gillette, taking on the Detroit Lions. The Boston Celtics will be at the Garden tonight, taking on the Portland Trail Blazers, and the New England Rebels should be down to New York, taking on the New York Red Bull in the Eastern Conference 2 game playoffs there. Peter Chell News on 12.40 here, and it is done out for a little Traver report, and it's 93 on the south one side. It is slow. Down the end of a stretch from 133 down for 125. Due to an accident in Wilmington on exit 937 and exit 41 route 125. Stop and go traffic from exit 42 to Tuscombe Road in Endover here. And we got an accident on Route 24 northbound in Buckton. Accident right lane Buckton 24 northbound before 123 exit 17. And in Duxbury, an accident on right lane. But that's cleared out. And Route 1 on both ends is busy around the Gillette Stadium area of Foxburg due to the Patriots game. 129 on the stop on side. More on fine on both ends and 120 northbound also from Route 37 in Braintree all the way down for 24 in Randolph. And our boys a smooth sailing commute here on this Sunday afternoon here. Peter Channel News Sam 1241 here. And it's time now for the weather report here on this Sunday afternoon here for the this afternoon park test guys up at 57 degrees southwest with about 69 miles per hour. Tonight, rain means after 3 a.m. Petri Bowls after 3 a.m. How low are 44 degrees? South for about 3 to 7 miles by church participation today. Set new participation to about 3 to 10 of a quarter inch possible. On Monday, rain possibly at Sesson before 11 a.m. Then a chance of rain between 11 a.m. and noon. Then a chance of showers after noon. Petri Bowl before 8 a.m. Then Petri Bowl after 4 p.m. Hydro 66 degrees south for about 13 to 50 miles per hour with a gust of size. 32 miles by church participation to 100 percent. New rain for about 3 and a half to 3 quarters of possible. My dad, slight chance of showers before 2, p 2 a.m. Punch about before 7 p.m. I was most of the guys got low about 50 degrees south for about 10 to 30 miles because of chance of time percentage is 20 percent. Tuesday, most of the guys got about 56 degrees west for about 8 to 11 miles because of size 28 miles per hour. Tuesday night, slight chance of showers after 4 a.m. Punch class got low about 35 degrees chance of is 20 percent. One day, rain likely barely after 1 p.m. Class got high about 43 degrees and chance of is 6 percent. With that, rain still likely class got low about 30 degrees chance of is 6 percent. Breaks of the day, most of the cars got about 42 low about 27 degrees. Friday, most of the Saturday podcasts got about 40 low about 23 degrees on Saturday. Most of the cars got about 30 degrees. Not in temperature, 55 degrees with first cars. That's going to be it for the Peter Channel Afternoon News on this November 23rd, 2014 on a Sunday afternoon. Peter, we're together. Good day, and I'll see you at 5 o'clock in the evening. Good.